वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फिजिक्स लैब एट जयपुर इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज एंड रिसर्च सेंटर टॉप रोड जयपुर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डेमोस्ट्रेट एक्सपेरिमेंट कन्वर्जन ऑफ गैल्वेनोमीटर इन टू वोल्ट मीटर ऑफ ए गिवन रेंज एंड टू कैलिबरेट इट सो द कोर्स आउटकम ऑफ दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इज एज आफ्टर परफॉर्मिंग दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू लर्न इलेक्ट्रिकल सर्क्यूटरी कनेक्शन ऑफ कन्वर्जन एंड कैलिबरेशन ऑफ कन्वर्टेड गैल्वेनोमीटर इन टू वोल्ट मीटर यूज ऑफ गैल्वेनोमीटर एंड वोल्ट मीटर इन रूटीन सर्किट्स इन डेली लाइफ बिफोर गोइंग टू डेमोस्ट्रेट दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट आई वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लेन टू मोर थिंग नंबर वन गैल्वेनोमीटर एंड नंबर टू वोल्ट मीटर गैल्वेनोमीटर इज ए डिवाइस विच डिटेक्ट द प्रेजेंस ऑफ करंट इन द सर्किट वाइल वोल्ट मीटर इज ए डिवाइस विच यूज टू मेजर द वोल्टेज फ्लोइंग इन द सर्किट देन हाउ वी कैन कन्वर्ट ए गैल्वेनोमीटर इन टू वोल्ट मीटर हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्क्राइब इट फॉर डिस्क्रिप्शन वी हैव ए स्टूडेंट ट्रेनर किट विच हैव फाइव वोल्ट डी सी सप्लाई एट फिफ्टी मिली एम्पियर इट इंक्लूड्स ए गैल्वेनोमीटर ऑफ द थर्टी डिविजन एंड देर इज ए वोल्ट मीटर हैविंग वोल्टेज जीरो टू फाइव वोल्ट इन द गिवन स्केल इन दिस सर्किट वी यूज सम पैच कॉर्ड to make necessary connections using the pot we can adjust the current and resistance in the circuit how we have to convert a galvanometer into voltmeter there are two steps number 1 we have to find out figure of merit of the galvanometer and number 2 to, to convert a galvanometer into voltmeter we have to make this necessary circuit diagram for this diagram it is very necessary to find out a high resistance value which has to be connected in series to the galvanometer you can see in this block diagram a high resistance r is connected in series to the galvanometer this is the basic principle of conversion of galvanometer into voltmeter of the given range value of the resistance depends upon the range what is the given range of the voltmeter and what is the amount of the resistance calculated for that purpose so resistance may be calculated using this formula where v is the total voltage and i is the current through galvanometer and capital g is the internal resistance of the galvanometer here we are using 5 volt dc supply so v is equal to 5 volt and given range of the volt conversion voltmeter is 5 volt and capital g is the internal resistance which is given here as 50 ohm meanwhile we can calculate it by half deflection method also before going to that we have to know the value of figure of merit k that can be calculated using the formula v upon r plus g into theta because we know the current through galvanometer ig may be calculated as n into k where n is the total number of the division in galvanometer which is 30 here and k is nothing it's only figure of merit k that can be used from this formula so this is value to be find out through the given circuit figure of merit k for to determine the figure of merit we have to make the connection in the student trainer kit as we have to supply connect supply with galvanometer it be in, in series and in series we have to connect a high resistance so deflection may be noted in the galvanometer on particular high resistance value may be on 8k may be on 10k 12k or 15k Initially, we are going to 
determine what is the deflection at 8k. So at 8k we can see we have connected it at 8k. So at 8k deflection shown in galvanometer is 29. So 29 division if shown by the galvanometer if we put in this table then figure of merit k may be calculated as 0.0000214 ampere per division. Similarly at 10k at higher values if we are going to connect it as 10k then the deflection wave will reduce and it will come at 24 division in galvanometer so if we are going to place the value of theta as 24 division at 10k then figure of merit k will be as 0 0.0000210 similarly at 12k if we are going to place these patch cords at 12k connecting in series then deflection is arises at 20 division in galvanometer by placing the value of 20 division of theta in this formula we can get figure of merit k as 0 0.0000207 and finally at 15k if we are connecting a 15k ohm resistance in the path then it will give deflection at 16 degree so 16 number of division if we are going to place it as at theta then we can calculate figure of merit k as 0 0.0000204 so the sum of these all four values is as 0 0.0000835 it may be written as 8.35 into 10 raised to power minus 5 ampere per division but for the average value of figure of merit k may be obtained by dividing it 4 because we have only 4 values here. So k average will be calculated as 2.087 into 10 raised to power minus 5 ampere per division. Now we are moving for calibration of converted galvanometer. So for calibration purpose we have to know the value of the high resistance shunt required to connect in series to the galvanometer. So that can be calculated using the formula as figure of merit k and ig equal to e upon r plus g into n capital N upon small n that is nk. So since we have already calculated figure of merit k as 2.087 5 into 10 raised to power minus 5 ampere per division then figure on current passing through galvanometer IG may be calculated as 30 into 2.0875 into 10 raised to power minus 5 that may be written as 6.26 into 10 raised to power minus 6 ampere now the value of high resistance are needed to connect in the circuit will be as V upon IG minus capital G where V is 5 volt IG is 6.26 into 10 raised to power minus 6 ampere and minus G is 50 ohm so this value calculated as 7987.22 minus 50 ohm so it arises as 7937.22 ohm now this may be approximately equal to 8 1000 ohm or 8 kilo ohm. So now we are going to connect it in series in given circuit. So it has been connected as 8k and this circuit has been connected as given in block diagram. For taking the observation purpose we have to kept voltage at 0.5 volt then division in galvanometer observed as 2 division means at 0.5 volt we can observe division as 2 so 0.5 volt 2 division then converted galvanometer reading will be as V double dash equal to V upon N into small n so the, after putting the values of these it may be 
arises as 0.33 for the given value at 2 division at 0.5 volt. So the error calculated at this value is as 0.33 minus 0.5 as minus 0.17. Then for higher value of voltage, if we adjust it at 1 volt using the pot, then deflection in galvanometer appears as 6. Means value of small n is 6, then at 1 volt n is 6 division, then V double dash will be 1. So the error will be 0. Now for 1.5 volt at higher value, if we are going to it as then at 1.5 the division appears in galvanometer is as 10 division. Now by placing the value at 10 then V double dash will be calculated as 1.6 by using this formula then error will be as 1.6 minus 1.5 as 0 0.10 now at 2 voltage if we are going to adjust it as 2 volt then the value arises in galvanometer is 12 means small n value is 12 then V double dash is calculated as 2 so the error in the circuit is 0 because 2.0 minus 2.0 is as 0. Then we have to plot a calibration graph between error and voltmeter reading V dash. So this graph we have been obtained is this is a zigzag graph and it is error is also in positive and negative segment. Means error may appear in positive or may appear in negative. For this graph plotting we have considered a scale at x axis as 2 cm per hour 0.5 volt and at y axis 2 cm per hour 0.05 volt. So in this fashion we can convert a galvanometer into voltmeter of the given range and calibrate it. So now the results are as to convert a given galvanometer of resistance 50 ohm into a voltmeter of range 5 volt, the series resistance to be connected as R is equal to 7937 which is calculated here ohm and current for full scale deflection is IG is equal to 6.26 .6 into 10 raised to power minus 6 ampere. The calibration graph between the reading of a voltmeter and converted galvanometer is shown in figure and the calibration corrections graph between the error V double dash minus V dash and the voltmeter reading is shown here in edge under. Now in this manner student can learn how we can convert a galvanometer into voltmeter of given range. Here range was 5 volt and to calibrate it. We have calibrated. Thank you. Have a nice day.